Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee was one of the most famous and most beautiful actresses of the golden era of Hollywood. She was active during the late 30s and 40s of the previous century and she won loads of Oscars. She was a really good actress, although she did feel like her acting skills were sometimes underestimated or that people only saw a pretty face and not the skill that she possessed. She was definitely very beautiful and her beauty was famed all over the world. I think one of her most famous movie roles um, was when she played Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. So that is kind of the look that I've tried to recreate today because um, I think this is one of her more, more iconic looks, one of her most iconic roles that she played. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to recreate the look of Vivian Lee. So let's start with the makeup. I'm going to begin by evening out my skin tone with a layer of foundation, making sure to blend everything out nicely, but don't go too light on this. Foundation was pretty heavy in this era. So then I'm going to use a little bit of concealer to cover up my dark circles. And when everything is blended in, I'm going to powder everything off with some translucent powder to mattify my face and set all of this stuff that I've just applied. Alright, moving on to the eyebrows. Vivian Lee has quite um, kind of curvy eyebrows, I'd say. Mine are a little bit more angular, so I'm going to try and draw mine in a little bit mm, in a more of a round shape. And I'm using quite a dark powder here because her eyebrows are very dark. And then I'm going to take another angled liner brush and some black eyeshadow and draw a thin kind of smoked out line just above my lashes. It looks like she is wearing a little bit of a powdery eyeliner in some of the photos from Gone with the Wind, so I'm just going to go with that as well. But be sure to blend it out really nicely. Then all that's left for the eyes is to apply some good layers of mascara. And you're all done. So moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to apply some bright pink blush uh, pretty high up on the apples of my cheeks. Right there. So for lipstick, of course, it's hard to tell what she is wearing because it's a black and white movie. But uh, to me, it looks like kind of a darker pink shade. So that's just what I'm going to go for. <laughs> we'll have to guess to some degree here. So I'm going to apply this lipstick right here. And I'm just going to keep my natural lip shape. All right, moving on to the hair. Now, the hair is, I think the most iconic thing from the whole Scarlett O'Hara look. So I'm going to start by curling all of my hair with a small curling iron. And then giving my curls a couple of minutes to completely cool down before I take a bore bristle brush, just any dense brush in general, and really brush this through really well. I think I sat there brushing my hair for like 10 minutes to make these curls really kind of come together into more of a big, wave thing <laughs> and get more of that kind of um, 40s feel to it and then it took me a little while to figure out how to get a look most similar to her curls but in the end I ended up um, just pretty much teasing my hair so I'm going to go layer by layer tease all of my hair and tease it while I've pulled it straight and this kind of gives that messy poofy wave like effect that she has now unfortunately my hair bounces back from being teased pretty much immediately, even when I hairspray it. So yeah, it looks a little bit different in the tutorial clip than it does right now. <laughs> Don't help it, sorry. But yeah, this is the hair I'm going to work with and I am going to um, take one half kind of the front of my hair and just twist this, twist it upward um, all the way to right about where my ear is and then pin that down there with a couple of bobby pins. Do the same thing on the other side. And the rest of the hair I'm just going to divide into two sections and then loop each section inwards kind of and pin that loop down there. And this is going to make the hair look a little bit more um, shoulder length. Her hair actually looks like it's tied into a faux bob um, in those she scenes where she's wearing this hairstyle. So just secure that with a couple of bobby pins. And there is your Vivian Lee slash Scarlett O'Hara look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate, please leave them down in the comments below. And while we're at it, I am thinking of starting a new series that is very similar to Beauty Beacons, but I would like to recreate the looks of some 
fictional UT beacons. So anybody you've seen in a movie or a TV show or a book, even a game, I don't care where they're from, any fictional character that has a very iconic kind of recognizable beauty look, let me know, let me know what you would like to see. And I will pick someone out and start my new kind of beauty beacons of fiction series very soon. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!